welcome to Minimal Mindful Mama. Today we're going to be talking about nine things that you can declutter in September. School has started, the weather is starting to cool off a little bit, and we are headed into holiday season with Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas right around the corner in the next few months. This is the prime time to get your house decluttered and organize a little bit and prepare for the seasons to come. September is a great transitional month as we transition from the summer heat and busyness or relaxation to the different kind of busyness that accompanies the fall and winter months. So let's go ahead and jump right in with nine things that you can declutter this September. The first thing that you can declutter is any leftover summer items. So if you still have things like bathing suits out or maybe some summer clothes, anything that you used over the summer that is still out because the weather has still been warmer, but now we're getting later into September and it's actually moving more towards fall, this is a great time to put away those things for next year. If you have kids, definitely think about their items as well. I washed and put away my son's water table. He loved playing with it this summer, so it made me sad to put that away. But I knew I didn't want it sitting out as the leaves begin to fall, and I want to keep it stored away safely for next spring and summer. Since the temperature has started to drop, I'm not really comfortable with him playing with water as often as he did in the summertime. And so I cleaned that and packed it away safely in the shed so we can bring it out again next year. The second thing you can declutter in September is previous year's Halloween costumes. You may have costumes stored away from previous years that you really enjoyed wearing, but you don't see yourself revisiting in the future. So you can go ahead and donate those or post them on Marketplace. And this is the time that people are looking for costume ideas. So it's a really good time to go through and declutter those as you'll probably be able to find them a really great home. If you have kids, they probably have costumes that they've outgrown. So you can go through and see which ones are sizes that they won't be able to wear again and you can pass those on so another child can enjoy that costume this year. The third thing that you can declutter is your fall decor. Oftentimes as we decorate our homes and go through our bins we have stored away of decorations and maybe you're bringing things out and you're realizing that these things are not your style at all. And you sometimes can wonder who were you even a couple years ago that you thought that these things were cute. It happens a lot because our styles definitely change as we grow and as we get older. And also sometimes things are just really trendy at a moment and then we realized that it wasn't really actually our style and something that we would actually reuse year after year. Maybe it was an impulse buy or we were influenced by someone else's style. But the good news is this is a great time to declutter those so that they're not stored away in your home for yet another year to be brought out again and rejected. Someone out there is probably looking for that exact item to display in their home and will love and use it year after year. So this is a great time to pass along any unloved fall decor. Before we continue, I would love it if you will like this video and subscribe down below. You can ring that little bell button so that you'll get notified when I upload new videos. It really helps me out with my channel and I appreciate it so much. The fourth thing you can declutter this September is your shoes. As we're transitioning from our summer shoes to our fall and winter type of shoes, maybe from flip flops to sneakers, it's a great time to go through your shoes and actually take inventory because you kind of have all of them out while you're making the transition. If there's anything from summer that is too worn out that you won't be wearing again next year, you can go ahead and pass that along. If there's anything that you're bringing out for fall that again is too worn or not your style, go ahead and declutter those. There's some really great organizations that you can pass these along to, whether that's Souls for Souls or a clothing recycling bin near you. There's lots of places that will accept your old shoes. So you can find a responsible way to pass those along if they are too worn for anyone else to use. 
And make sure that you're not holding on to shoes that don't fit you properly or aren't comfortable. Realistically, you aren't really going to be wearing these unless they're dress shoes. So if you have sneakers that are uncomfortable or don't fit properly, don't hold on to those just in case because they're just gonna make you miserable and you'll never actually reach for them. Make sure that the shoes that you have in your closet are all ones that you can see yourself wearing for a full day. The fifth thing you can declutter this September is your kids' toys or playroom. If your kids are school age, they're probably back to school now, so this is a good time that maybe you would have a day that they're in school and you can go through and remove anything that is maybe outgrown or broken if you need to. You could also do this with your kids. Keep in mind that the holidays are coming up in a few months and there might be an influx of new things coming. And now that they're back to school, they probably aren't going to be home as much or need as many options. So pick out the ones that your kids really love and would gravitate towards if they're having some indoor playtime, and you can go ahead and pass on the rest. The sixth thing that you can declutter this September is your car. I know we all dread doing it, but it really will make you feel so much better to have your car cleaned out, especially with all those school drop-offs and pickups. You don't want trash to be falling out of your car and having it clean will make it so much more streamlined for your kids to bring all of their stuff in when they get home from school and to put it away. So this may not even technically count as decluttering and maybe is more of a cleaning item for you, but clean out your car and you will feel so much better as a result. The seventh thing that you can declutter is hair accessories. Now, whether this is your own hair products or hair clips or whatever you use in your hair or your kids as well if you have daughters and you have headbands and bows and all of that this is a great time to go through those items you may have hair accessories or clips or whatever that you haven't used in years maybe you keep it really simple and you always just do a ponytail so you keep a couple scrunchies on hand or maybe you do like the more elaborate clips Either way is totally fine and whatever suits your style or personality, but if you look at your own stuff and you realize that these are not things that you have any intention of wearing or would ever reach for, go ahead and declutter those items. The eighth thing that you can declutter is art supplies. Again, whether this belongs to your children or to yourself. I don't know if you like to be crafty in the fall and winter months, but having these things decluttered and organized will really help if you do go to do a craft. I know my kids like to come home from school and do some art or coloring. And so having this area decluttered, removing anything that doesn't work or is broken, and just having items that they can easily get out and use is really helpful. The ninth and final thing that you can declutter this September is blankets and pillows. This is generally the time of year where we start to get out more cozy blankets or fun themed pillows. So if there's any that you don't care for or that aren't your style or that don't match really with the rest of your decor, this is a great time to declutter those. If anything is too worn out, animal shelters oftentimes will accept old blankets and towels and linens and things like that if you need to find those a good home. Evaluate the things in your home and make sure that everything that you have is something that you really love and use and enjoy. If it's not something that you like and it isn't even something that you use, then it's clutter. I'm sure that there are many more things that you could declutter in September, so if you have any additional ideas, please comment those down below as I'm going through this list as well. And I can always use more inspiration of things that I should be decluttering. And that could be a really great resource down in the comment section for everyone watching. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you'll join me next week as I hope to have a decorate with me fall type of video. So that'll be really fun. So be sure to check back next Tuesday to see that. Remember to like and subscribe down below before you go. Thanks again so much for watching. Happy decluttering and I'll see you very soon in the next video.